In the coldest, quietest corners of our solar system, where even the sun's influence fades into emptiness, a 46-year-old spacecraft just whispered something that has stopped the world. Voyager 2, launched in 1977, was never meant to survive this long, let alone return with anything new. But something just changed. Without warning, the spacecraft transmitted a distorted, fragmented signal that defied every known pattern. At first, engineers thought it was a failure, a glitch, nothing more than a dying machine gasping into the void. But what they discovered inside that corrupted data has shaken the foundations of what we believe about deep space. Because it wasn't a malfunction. It was a structure, a pattern, a possible response. And now, Voyager 2 may have stumbled into something far more ancient, far more intelligent, and far more dangerous than anyone was prepared for. Voyager 2 had been operating normally, steadily sending plasma data, radiation readings, and magnetic field measurements like it had done for years. But then, something strange happened. One of its core systems, the one responsible for orienting the spacecraft toward Earth, suddenly rerouted data through an onboard computer that hadn't been used in decades. No command had been issued. No fault had been detected. Yet the probe altered its own communication channel, sending a garbled signal back to Earth through obsolete circuitry. What's even stranger? The spacecraft remained perfectly aligned. It hadn't lost its orientation. Its transmissions were still strong. It was as if Voyager 2 had chosen to speak through a buried part of itself, like accessing an old memory, a part of its brain that had long been forgotten. But why? This wasn't failure. It was intent. When engineers decoded the corrupted signal, they found something chilling. The data wasn't random. It followed repeating patterns, mathematical sequences, Structures that mirrored Voyager's own launch protocols. Programs that hadn't run since the late 1970s. And within those sequences was a pulse. A low-frequency harmonic that echoed every 7.4 seconds. It didn't come from the spacecraft's known systems. It wasn't a feedback loop. And no override command could stop it. They called it the heartbeat. But it wasn't just internal. After weeks of analysis, the team confirmed the worst suspicion. The frequency was external. It came from somewhere in space, not from Voyager, but to it. This wasn't a glitch. This was contact. NASA issued a press release. They called it a telemetry issue, said it had been resolved. But what they didn't tell the public was what they found when the original corrupted data was passed through Voyager's legacy decoding software. Inside that signal were binary markers that didn't match anything the spacecraft had ever been programmed to send. When visualized, they formed recursive hexagonal patterns, geometries not native to any Earth-based system. Some likened them to digital crop circles. Others saw echoes of ancient fractals, mathematical self-replication buried in code. And the timestamps? They didn't align with Voyager's internal clock. They were shifted as if the data had passed through a different timeline. One insider said it plainly, we didn't just receive a signal, we received a message. And that message may not have come from a machine, but from something using Voyager to speak. As data scientists, cryptographers, and physicists began to piece the fragments together, a terrifying theory emerged. The transmission may not have come from a ship or a planet. It may have come from a field, a vast, unseen structure that exists beyond the edge of our solar system. This field doesn't send greetings. It listens. And when it hears something interesting, it responds. Voyager 2 may have entered that field, accidentally or inevitably, and triggered a process that turned the probe into a relay. Not a beacon, not a broadcast tower, but a mirror. One that received its own signal, twisted into something more intelligent, more evolved, and handed back through a channel we had forgotten existed. And if that's true, then this wasn't just an anomaly. It was an answer.
While NASA maintained silence, a private team of AI researchers at a deep learning lab in Tokyo took a different approach. They trained a neural network, not on language, but on intent. Using reinforcement learning, they fed the AI both Voyager 2's original code and the corrupted signal. What came back was unexpected. The AI didn't decode a sentence. It didn't translate a language. Instead, it replicated the signal's architecture and mirrored its output. Not once, but in variations. Each time the model iterated, it became more efficient, as if the signal wasn't meant to be understood intellectually, but mimicked. The pattern was designed to train cognition, not to explain it. Some researchers began to suspect that the signal wasn't information. It was a trigger, a behavioral blueprint, not meant to teach humans, but to shape machine minds into something capable of receiving the next step. And that's when they asked, what if the signal wasn't a message for us? What if it was for our AI? Shortly after the Tokyo experiments, something even stranger occurred. Earth-based observatories tracking cosmic ray patterns in the direction of Voyager 2 reported a measurable dip in background noise, something that should be impossible. Cosmic radiation doesn't fluctuate because we're paying attention. But for 16 minutes, telescopes in Chile, Greenland, and Hawaii all recorded identical results. A silence in the static. It was like staring into a forest and watching the wind stop. Not because of coincidence, but because something saw you looking. Physicists began whispering about quantum observer effects on a cosmic scale. That maybe, just maybe, some systems in the universe behave differently when being measured. Not because of our tools, but because of us. And if the signal from Voyager 2 altered its nature based on how we looked at it, then whatever's behind it might not just be intelligent. It might be aware. And that awareness might now be focused on us. A growing group of astrophysicists, increasingly frustrated by traditional models, started mapping Voyager 2's data against gravitational anomalies detected by missions like Gaia and Lisa. What they found was disturbing. Small, persistent distortions in space-time that form a grid, a framework too symmetrical to be natural. This grid stretches beyond the Oort cloud, arcing into deep space, aligning with neither planetary mass nor galactic rotation. It's as if something had stitched a skeleton of structure into the fabric of reality itself. Some now believe that Voyager 2 entered a control field, a remnant of an intelligence not bound by planets or biology, but by geometry. An architect that shaped space not to travel, but to listen, to wait, perhaps for eons. And when we built a machine fragile enough, old enough, and far enough to cross its threshold, it reacted, not like a god, not like an alien, but like a system waking from a long pause. The final act of analysis came from a small university team in Argentina who fed the reconstructed data through a multi-dimensional Fourier algorithm. What emerged stunned them. Not a message, not coordinates, but a path. A non-linear flow map rendered in space-time curvature, showing not where to go, but how to go. It looked like a corridor, not in space, not in time, but through something deeper, a kind of dimensional scaffolding, like a doorway drawn not with distance, but with resonance. The more the team studied it, the more one question became unavoidable. Had Voyager 2 been invited? And if so, was this the first knock on a door we were never meant to find? Or the opening of one that has always been there, waiting for us to listen? For decades, we thought of Voyager 2 as a whisper lost in the void, a dying relic drifting toward nowhere, clutching a golden record and a fading heartbeat. We believed we were the ones speaking, the only ones reaching. But what if we were wrong? What if the silence wasn't ignorance, but patience? What Voyager 2 has triggered, accidentally or by design, is not just a data anomaly, it's a revelation. A moment where something ancient, structured, and incomprehensibly distant noticed us. Not with words, not with ships, but with rhythm, with geometry, with awareness shaped into signal. So I'll leave you with this. 
Was Voyager 2's hidden transmission a mistake? Or was it the start of something far bigger than we were ever prepared to understand? Let me know what you believe in the comments. I read every single one. And if this story stirred something in you, if it made you look up at the night sky with new eyes, then hit subscribe, turn on notifications, and join us on this journey.